now to Ethiopia, uh, where the country is preparing to stage a national dialogue. The process aims to resolve political differences, including over the ongoing civil war in the northern Tigray region. Ahead of the national dialogue, the government has released a number of political prisoners. As CGTN's Groom Chala reports, opposition leaders are already proposing a new national constitution. Preparations are now underway by Ethiopian authorities to stage the much-anticipated all-inclusive national dialogue. Addis Ababa believes this would be a forum that can deliver key answers to seeking political questions and differences of the country. We have worked alongside other stakeholders for the upcoming all-inclusive national dialogue to be a story of success. We expect this dialogue to guarantee long-lasting peace and all stakeholders have deliberated on which kinds of decisive political measures should be taken. These discussions intended to successfully hold the national dialogue to ample time and were held between the parties and the government. In preparation for the talks, Ethiopia has released dozens of well-known political prisoners. High-profile names include Jawar Mohammed and Skinder Nega. In the latest press conference since his release from prison, Skinder said his party will demand a change of the current Ethiopian constitution. The main agenda we'll present in the national dialogue is a change of the existing constitution of the country. One cannot make any dictator regime into a democratic one through any reforms. There is no such global experience. Those nations which transformed from dictatorship to democracy have devised a new constitution. Fact check, Addis Ababa promises the national dialogue will be democratic and transparent. Based on its last experience, the government is building strong institutions. And these institutions are working freely, basing themselves on the national interest of the people. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has promised a national dialogue to bring all political stakeholders together to discuss grievances which include regional border issues, the question of identity, constitutional reforms and amendments, among other issues. Grumtala CUTN, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.